Hi! Today we're going to do 2018 GCE O Level Practical Paper. Now for 2018, it's a very exciting paper. So for the first part, we're going to do the preparation. Now, the exciting part is to guess the anion. What do I mean by that? There's a little twist there, but as you do, you will understand what I say. But always remember my steps, okay? Preparation, then execution. Hi! Today, we're going to go through 2018 GCE O-Level Practical Exam. Are you ready? Let's begin with the preparation. You are first provided with separate solution of sort Q and sort R. This is my sort Q and this is my sort R. I like it when the sort Q has color because uh, it gives us a feeling of what it is already. So, love it. Now, they go on to say that carry out the following test and you should identify any gases involved. Carefully record your observation. The volume given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. So, are you ready? They go on to say add about 2 cm depth of solution Q into a clean test tube. As usual, we start with our preparation. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Over here. Okay, let's start with preparing. Let me take, pick out a test tube over here and write 2 cm. 2 cm of Q. And to this, you add about 1 cm depth of nitric acid. And then later on, they say add another 1 cm of silver nitrate. Nitrate acid, silver nitrate. Okay, let me put this back into the test tube rack. Okay, over here. Now, when they add silver nitrate, always remember, go to your QA. Yes, go to your QA qualitative analysis notes here. Let's take a good look here. Silver nitrate happened to be over here and it's actually a test for chloride. Now, if there is white PPT, there is chloride. No white PPT, no chloride. So, I'm going to write down over here, look out for chloride and of course what ppt all right so over here let's move on to the second part b1 add about 2 cm depth of solution q into a clean boiling tube this time around i need a boiling tube okay uh and it say it goes to show that to this boiling tube uh, add about 2 cm depth of q into a boiling tube and another 2 cm depth of uh r slowly with shaking so let me over here write 2 cm of q and another 2 cm of R, okay, R, oops, sorry, I'm going to write Q, this should be R, all right, okay, and this is B part 1, okay, let's see that how they go on to say, to the same boiling tube, you add sulfuric acid with shaking um, until no further changes are seen, so I need to add H2SO4. All right, and we have to label the solution X. So this whole thing will eventually become my X. Let me do a huge X here. Okay, so let me put back into the test tube, right? So I think we have all finished preparing already. We are ready to go. So step number one, I need to add Q. So let me add Q. I notice that Q is actually a yellow solution and its solution is so clear. So over here, I quickly write down, okay, solution Q is a pale yellow solution. Okay, the color is important. To this, add about 1 cm of nitric acid. I have nitric acid here. Nothing changes, but the color becomes colorless. So I'm going to write down what I see. Solution Q become colorless. Okay, and this part adds silver nitrate. Silver nitrate. Okay, you can see over here, nothing changes. Okay, it remains, it still remains as colorless. I'm going to use a black, black, black uh, backing over here. It still see as colorless. So I'm going to say upon, let me put this down first. Upon adding AgNO3, no visible reaction. 
So I must write down here at the side, no Cl minus. Now, let's move on to this part, to the clean boiling tube. I have a clean boiling tube over here. I need to add Q. And then I add another R. Ah, I saw precipitate forming. Okay, and it's actually over here. I saw precipitate forming and it's actually dark, very dark brown. So I'm going to write down, okay, upon adding R, but before that, I must say that because Q, I already said that solution Q is yellow. So over here, okay, so I'm going to make some changes, okay, the way that I write, let's follow the pattern. Solution Q is pale yellow. Solution R is a clear solution. Upon mixing a reddish brown PPT was observed. Full stop. Okay, now let's move on to the next part over here. Next part over here to the same boiling tube, which is the one that we, we have just done, okay? Just now I forgot to do something, okay? But never mind, we still have time. Add dilute nitrate acid. I forgot to check because every time when they add something that's different, we must go back to here to check so that we know exactly what we are looking for. Here says that this part you add acid and then you're supposed to look for what? If you add acid, you are actually testing for carbonate. So I'm going to write down carbonate. And I'm actually looking out for what? Carbon dioxide. So I quickly prepare my what? Lime water. If you say that, very good, bingo. All right, so over here, empty test tube. Prepare my lime water first before I add the acid. Okay, thank God I remember. So very well. So let me add the... Okay, same thing, boiling tube. Uh, the boiling tube, because I'm using a boiling tube, I make sure that this tube is the bigger one. Delivery tube is here, long one go in here. Now before that, let me prepare my sulfuric acid over here, okay? Now, I'm not too sure if there is, but nonetheless, they say we're shaking until no further change is seen. So let's begin. Okay, let me open up. Sulfuric acid, okay. Okay, you and I saw something is going on. Okay, there is bubbles. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I'm slowly seeing white precipitate forming. Okay, but they say slowly every shake it until no further changes is seen. I should add a little bit more acid because first of all, they did not tell me exactly how much but I can see that it become... I can see white PPT forming. Okay, this is a good sign. Okay, very nice white precipitate. Okay, I don't even need to shake. Beautiful white precipitate is seen. Okay, I can see it. Let me use another black colour. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, very nice and I think it's captured already. Okay, so I'm going to write it down, okay. Let me put this aside first. Okay. Now, upon adding H2SO4, okay, you saw bubbles. Remember, do not write bubbles. Write down the word effervescent. E F F E R V E S C E N C E. Okay, is produced or was produced. Okay. Now, guess. Bubble through lime water gives a white precipitate. Okay, you all saw, saw that as well. And the solution remaining in the test tube is solution X. Now, they say solution X, okay? So, I will just keep on adding until they become a solution because at this juncture, it is not a solution yet. Okay, as you can see, okay, it's not see-through. The keyword is solution. So, I'm going to add some more sulfuric acid. Okay. 
Now, some of you were wondering, so do we still need to test for carbon dioxide gas? You already tested it. You saw it just now. Okay, now it's a clear solution. So I'm going to write down, okay, over at this side, okay. When more H2 SO4 was added, brown PPT dissolved, giving a clear yellow solution. Now, from a PPT to a solution is important, okay? They say we must retain this for the use in part C. So, X now is my C, so I better write down slash C. Okay, moving on. Using your observation in B1, identify the N ion present in solution R. And they say, explain your deduction using evidence from your observation in B1. Well, the N ion in R is definitely CO3 2 minus. Why? Because in B part 1, when acid H2SO4 was added, what happened? What do you see? Effervescent, good job. E F F E R V E S C E N C E was produced. Gas bubble through lime water, comma gives a white PPT. Full stop. Okay, so it shows that therefore. It shows that CO32 minus was present. Okay, we have finished this portion. Now, the, the third part here, okay, over here says that consider all the observations you have made so far. Explain why the N ion deduced in B part 2, which is this one over here, the carbonate, cannot be present in solution Q. Well, in solution Q, you remember, we already added acid and there is no effervescent. Actually, I missed out something important because solution Q is a pale yellow solution. When acid is added, it becomes colorless, okay? no visible reaction. In any case, when acid is added, we always look out for effervescent. If there's no effervescent, it therefore shows that there's no carbonate. So, I can explain that because in, which part is this? A. Okay, because in part A, what acid was that? Let's take a quick look, nitric acid. So, I will write down, HNO3 was added. There's, there was no effervescent, E-F-F-E-R, V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. No effervescent was produced. Okay, therefore, no carbonate present in Q. Okay, so I have proven this part. We are ready to move on to C part 1. Now, after you have finished 2018, part A and B together, you understand why I mean that there's a little bit twist? But yet, it's not difficult. If you understand and really pay attention to the things that's added and follow my steps, you know why. So I'm very proud of you. Now, we are left with the last part. So as you go on to the last part, do not be afraid. Always use my steps, preparation, then execution. Okay? <laughs>